was just like any other year. I had to get Tommy Two Toes to get me some research. You know how we call him Tommy Two Toes, don't you? It's no mystery. Anyway, I had to get her up to boys downtown, and we figured he'd be the best man for the job. He sits on a computer all day anyway. And I'll tell you, he's had countless amounts of talks with his mother about that smoking. Never listens to his mother. Never listens. Big old Destaduda. So the big guy got his stuff, and we met downtown where we usually meet, next to the elementary school. We figured all the kids hustling and bustling would create a diversion. And this mook shows up in an executive coat and shorts. I mean, I wasn't exactly styling myself, but Jesus Christ! So he gave me what I was looking for eventually. And you know what? I put it in a safe place where I thought I could, in my front pocket. And you know what? He started giving me the jabber and the jaw and showing me signs of disrespect. You know what? I'm a professional. I don't deserve this. I said, here, take this quarter. Now get the hell out of here. I don't know what he said to me. I wasn't paying attention. He just gave me a nod and, you know what, tipped his hat. I looked at him and I said, yeah, go shove it. Anyway, we met up a couple days later, apologized, we cooled off. I showed him some of the stuff that I got. Pretty good stuff. I don't know if he was interested or was just wanting a cigarette. But anyway, we kind of worked up the kinks and, you know, we made a deal. He didn't know that the van behind me was full of better play work. So he took him. He tipped his hat again and walked away. He didn't know I screwed him, but as they say, business is business. <laughs>